From the east, house of light. From the north, house of night. From the west, house of transformation. From the south, house of the eternal sun. From above, house of heaven. From below, house of earth. From the center, galactic source which is everywhere at once. May everything be known as the light of mutual love. Ah yum hunam ku evam maya e ma ho. Becoming a telepath has everything to do with tuning into the significance of number frequencies and the synchronization of different numbers. We are entering a new eon where we experience expanded templates of being and consciousness. These expanded templates first appear as mathematical codes or structures that are inviolable. They are laws that abide by a specific structure. When we understand the nature of these laws, we realize that they represent a superior spiritual order. Our world is based on movement. Everything is always in motion. Underlying this perpetual movement are different mathematical frequencies. These mathematical frequencies are the multifaceted, ever-evolving reality of the One Being. Each day is coded by a specific set of number sequences that, when combined, set the tone and quality for that day. Through the synchronic codes, we can learn to read this language of number. Number language is closely related to telepathy, and if we are attuned, we can begin to read the daily synchronic telegrams encoded in the combination of different numbers. When we study these number relations, we begin to see that numbers belong to their own matrix or matrices of meaning. Each number represents a principle, a specific quality and a state of being or a particular yoga as elucidated in Chapter 5. Each set of number relations can be read differently according to context, frame of reference and personal perceptual lens. It is helpful to make your own number index. In this way you familiarize yourself with the frequency of numbers and also recognize how different number combinations synchronize to create specific effects in consciousness. Word is a vibratory resonance based on the underlying structure of number. The resonance of a word or combination of words create manifest reality. Before the word OM there was number, or a mathematical frequency. The matrix of mathematical frequencies is what makes the word possible. At the closing of the cycle, we have come upon the limitation of words. The confusion of words began at the time of the Tower of Babel. The idea of building the Tower of Babel was conceived of as a tremendously vast engineering project to build an immense tower 
that would reach into the clouds and into heaven. When construction of this tower began, everybody spoke the same language, but before they had finished, the people had broken into speaking different languages. The Tower of Babel is a metaphor for the tower of artificial civilization or anything that we work on that is overreaching itself trying to penetrate into the clouds and into the heavens. The effect of this endeavor was to break up the common universal language into many dispersed languages. This is one factor. As a result, throughout history confusion reigns and words are often misinterpreted. Words in themselves are neutral, but have become loaded throughout history because of cultural or personal interpretations. So much so, that just about any word you will use will get different reactions and interpretations from different people. Some words in some countries are forbidden as they raise certain feelings. On some level, lawyers exist because of the confusion of language. In every tradition, there arises a sect of people who are often called legalists, who try to determine the correct meaning of words, or correct law. Today in the climax of civilization, with more than 6 billion cell phone subscribers, when the power of blogging and texting has been universalized and anyone can express any opinion that they want, the confusion of language is as great as it's ever been and often the most valuable information or teachings become buried in a sea of inane chatter. There is a way of tuning into and using number or number matrices in relation to the synchronic order to create a mental force field to shift the world hologram. First we must understand what is the actual nature of number? To understand this, we first must return our mind to its natural original state through practice of yoga, pranayama breathing and meditation. To return to the original mind is to develop a mind where no thought arises, for at least a brief period and then expand it into longer periods of time. Within this thought-free state, new worlds are born. Within the space of pure meditation arises intrinsic awareness, primordial awareness, pure wakefulness, original mind. Only by training our mind to rest in this space can we tune into the deepest meaning of number. To discover the origin of number, meditate on these questions. How did number originate? What is the root source of number? Allow these questions to mingle in your mind. If you experience your mind as a void space without thought, that void space is zero. From zero, effortlessly allow the one to enter. Rather than see one as the Arabic one or a Roman numeral one, feel the essence of one. Feel number one arise as a simple point of light, a dot in space. This is one. Practice seeing this luminous point arising in the space of mind. This is where number originates. <laughs>